In the context of trail riding, unicycles are pretty rare. In the context of unicycles, BC wheels are even rarer. Berm Chasen here, and I got a fun one involving a potential world's first. I was out at Franklin Trails, where I've yeah. ridden mountain bikes before. But today I'm on the BC wheel. The goal was a wall ride by the end of the day, though it would take some warming up to even get to that point. This little bridge might look like nothing, but starting from no speed, just getting across it was quite the challenge. And then there's the rocks at the end. When asked if unicycles are all about balance, I usually shrug it off, as it's kind of more like walking. But with the BC wheel, continuous balance is key. I think I could have done better with a few more attempts, and at the end, I'll revisit it coming down the hill with a little bit more speed. I've only seen like one or two Muni BCers, and the videos are few and far between. With a slick wheel, slicker platforms, and very little BC experience on dirt, this wouldn't be easy for me. I didn't remember from biking just how steep this run uphill was. And with no brakes other than my legs, I started pretty low and slow. I tried to take it easy. The bales are unpredictable, and the wooden slats were scary to crash on. It was harder than expected to get the wheel up on the wall. But I kept trying. And trying. Watching the footage, I'm yelling at myself to stay on. Stay on! Probably bending my knees would have helped. But it felt like a magnet was pulling me off the wheel. And so I had to just commit. And so... Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, sick. I don't know what that celebration was, but with that, I had landed one, even if I didn't get the cleanest roll out. I wanted another angle, so another 50 attempts on the hill before switching it up for some pet. Falling off, you gotta make sure the wheel doesn't take out your Achilles. It can roll surprisingly far. I knew I was getting close to a solid roll over the rocks. It was just hard to get used to the speed I picked up on the wall. All those little zips you hear are the wheel rubbing up against my leg. Usually I can avoid that while riding, but on this trail approaching the wall ride, it felt impossible. Okay, that was just personal. I've had the wheel run away before, but this felt like it was ghost right in the tank effortlessly. Leaning forward ejects you off the front, but leaning back felt even scarier. The burn was smooth, but was whippier than expected. Switching the camera angle gives a more POV perspective, but also somewhat blocked my view of the wheel. If you get dizzy easily, perhaps just close your eyes and listen to the jazz for the next few clips. And here you can see how slick my platforms were getting. At some point, it felt like progress had halted, and I was just putting in the reps. But success comes when you keep pushing past that feeling. Thought I was getting a pinch flat for sure. Success or a pinch flat, I suppose. On second thought, there are many ways to measure success, but a flat tire isn't one of them. So I gave it a few more goes and decided to move on to something more dangerous.
Ouch. That hurts. Slipped. Hit that rock. Thought I was gonna hit that tree. Towards the end of the day, there was just a couple more things I wanted to try. One was to clean the wavy bridge, but it didn't get much easier. Yeah. I'm gonna count that. And the other was to exit the park in style. Even if it took a minute. Of course the slope looked fun, so I had to try that too. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more MTBC content.